Hey, how's it going today? We're gonna to look at my 1966 Sega EM basketball machine. I'm gonna give you some ins and outs of the game, some quirks, some gameplay footage, and uh, you know, just an all around once over tour of this machine. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe and click the bell notification for future videos from Empire Pinball. Stay tuned. So let me walk you through this game. It's a one or two player game where you play head to head with one another. You have two rows of buttons corresponding with the holes in the play field. Player two has red buttons. Player one is black buttons. You'll see there's two sets of numbers around each hole, a red and a black number, and they're facing opposite directions. So when the ball lands in the hole, you have to hit the corresponding button number to advance the ball towards the basket before the time runs out. So what really drew me to the game was the design aesthetic of the game. It's super retro. Looks like something that could have been out of the Jetsons. So this game is all original. Everything is intact. Normally these plastic domes crack and they're nearly impossible to find. So let's take a look on the inside here. It's super easy to open up one key lock and the thing just opens up and it comes with a really cool hood prop. So inside you'll see just a few mechanical relays and a lot of solenoids attached to the upper play field. There are two solenoids per hole and a micro switch. You'll see the coin box here which you can only access with the lid up. So oddly enough there's only one key that keeps everything locked up. So you'll see the really cool prop rod. I believe this is original to the game. So underneath they have a series of quick disconnects for all the wiring so you could detach the play field fairly easily from the cabinet. And inside you'll see there's a few old relays, a couple of score reels, bell and the buzzer, timer, and a few other relays. So the cool thing about this thing is it's a timed game and it has an electromechanical timer. So when this pendulum stops swinging, your game is done. And before that happens, you'll hear a warning buzzer letting you know that the game is about to end. So you'll see the bell is your score bell. Every time you make a basket, it makes a bing sound. And this is the buzzer for the final play. You will only have a few seconds left before the game is over. So that's pretty much the inside of this game. So let's close this up and get a two player game going. So the previous owner had installed a credit bypass switch right here. So you don't have to put uh, dimes in here. This thing doesn't even take quarters, which is pretty, pretty interesting. So you just coin it up by hitting the start button here. And if you want two player, hit it one more time and you're ready to go. And you'll hear a timer clicking in the background as that pendulum swings inside the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video looking at the ins and outs of the game. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.